Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Human Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at bioenergy. What is bioenergy? Bioenergy is renewable energy produced from decomposing biomass. Examples of biomass include wood and straw as well as dung. You can also use plants for biomass to um, consume them and burn them. You can produce bioenergy in two main ways. The first of which is by burning them. The biomass is simply burned in order to give off energy. When burned, the biomass gives off heat, and we can use that heat as energy. When burning wood, you get up a lot of heat from the fire, and that fire can be used for cooking, typically. Another method we can use to generate electricity from decomposing biomass is in a landfill site. Firstly, the methane is given off here, as a biomass is stored in a landfill site. As it decays, it does then produce methane, which leads us to the second step. The methane travels through pipes and collects in a furnace, which is step three. As it collects in the furnace, the methane is burned, and then, after the methane is burned, a vapour is given off, which travels to a turbine. That turbine is then turned, and as it does, the turbine is then connected to another generator, which produces electricity. Here are the advantages and disadvantages of bioenergy. Advantages include that it reduces the dependency on a single fuel source, and it doesn't give off that many polluting gases. It does give off methane, but it doesn't give off as much carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide as other gases um, are given off by these harmful resources, such as that of coal and oil. The fuel is also cheap to get, and it can help get rid of unwanted waste. However, disadvantage are that burning biomass gives off CO2, which is a greenhouse gas, but remember, you can counter this and say that it doesn't give as much as perhaps coal or oil does. Also, cutting down trees to get the biomass leads to deforestation, which is always a problem, and it's hard to collect so much waste. Also, it won't work for long-term production, as this doesn't really generate enough energy to power an industry. Here are some questions on bioenergy. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video, and hit play for whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, be sure to write these down and check them. And if you didn't, go over and just have another go to make sure that when you do go into the exam, you're fully prepared. Next lesson, we're going to be looking at tidal energy. And until then, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.